So before we get to the fishing adventure, I want to remind you real quick that we're raising funds to have our own equipment for our own GoPro and all the accessories that I need to keep recording this content. If you're really enjoying my content, I ask you, please, we're asking the community to help us out. Uh, we've been already putting a bunch of money out for other things with Fishing Girl, and we need help in order to get this equipment. So if you're enjoying this content, we need like 26 people to give $25 each or 13 to give 50. So please consider helping us out with that. I'm going to put a link on the screen to a video that I put out just a few days ago that explains everything, all the costs breakdown and, and everything that we're going to need. But right now, let's get to fishing. Hey there, fishing girl. We are down at Volano Beach. It is a little windy, so you might have a little trouble hearing me, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, Got my husband here behind me. Say hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey everyone. Hey, Mom. <laughs> and I got my friend James in the background there. We're gonna throw a couple lines out and see what's going on. See if we can get on some fish. I'm testing out some new things today, so I'm gonna turn around here. I was at the Fish Bites trading post yesterday, and they hooked me up with this Akuma 6000 uh, Rockaway, Akuma Rockaway 6000 reel. Pairs really nice with this Akuma Fish Bites 12 foot rod and uh, this will be the first time using this li uh, using this reel. I've got I believe it's 14 or 15 pound line on this mono and uh, I've got a mortician rig over here. We've got fish bites and glass beads from the sinker guy, and I've just got some frozen shrimp on there that's still in good condition. We're gonna see what we can catch. So let's get going and see what we can do. So we're gonna interview some people here down at Volano Beach. Uh, got some awesome ladies sitting next to us here. And what are your names again? Hi, I'm Peggy. All right, Peggy. And I'm Gloria. And Gloria, hi. So where All are right. you from? Your native Okay. fishing today and y'all are just chilling at the beach here so what is the good relationship between fishing people that show up and you guys already here chilling at the beach if you notice when we came up yeah. you guys had your spot first right so we just come wheeling in here but what makes you guys happy like what makes you happy when fish or people show up and what makes you mad tell us what makes you happy first i really love how you came over and said to us hey we're going to be fishing here is that okay any problem and to me, that meant, like, great, I don't have to worry about getting hooked because you're telling me the hooks are going to be out here. And I appreciated that. I love to see people fishing. And I said to you, what are you she said, what are you fishing for? And you said, whiting. And she said, shark. And I said, just give me a whiting. Give me a fish. I'm just teasing, of course. But yeah. I'm happy. I grew up with the father who took me fishing all the time. Awesome. I love not in the ocean, in lakes. And stuff. Yeah. Just Sweet. Love to see people so much. Yeah. All right. Well, that pretty much says it all. You want to add anything to that? Uh, my uh, family also are big fisher people. Uh, yeah. My sons and my brother are major fishermen. They just love it. And so I love it. And women. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to just hold the microphone in the middle here because it's. Uh, this is where the sound's coming from, so it might be hard to hear with all the wind, so. So what we'll do, I'll back that question back, Grant. Okay. So, uh, so that's really good what you said. I agree with everything you said. So you want to add to that? Yes. Um, I also have family members that love fishermen, uh, or love fishing. I love fisher people. We like fisher people. Because, <laughs> uh, literally, I love fisher people. <laughs> my brother, my sons, they love fishing. They get so much uh, joy from it, awesome. and I like watching them fish. Awesome. Sweet. Well, hey, y'all have a restful evening, and uh, we'll probably see you again sometime. Thanks. All right, Bye -bye. thank you. Bye. Thanks. Okay, first cast. Come out here just a bit. To get away from these 
people behind me. skating in. to the fork, 11 inches to the fork. Hey guy. Oh, all right. Little baby pompano. Oh, you haven't, I have not had a pompano kiss the camera yet. So we're gonna kiss the camera. Where is the camera? Oh, dude. See, ruined his photo shoot. All right, here we go. Kiss the camera. He's falling back. That was awesome to see Pompano. Go, buddy. There he goes. Oh, you gotta go that way. Here he goes. beautiful out here tonight. Check this out. Beautiful. I just got to turn this on to look at this. It's amazing. like it's going to stay south of us, but we're just keeping an eye on it because there are some lightning strikes south of us here. I was pulling on my line a minute ago. It felt like something might have jerked it a bit, but I'm just watching it to see what's going on. right over there just like a ball of orange looks so cool we still got lightning so we are going to be packing up here in a bit but i'm glad we stayed long enough to see the moon coming up that's so cool i can't think of a better place that i would want to be watching this <laughs> No, yeah, I brought it in. I figured I'll just leave the one out, and then if that storm starts really getting too close, I just got one to deal with. 
think I'm going to pack up because that lightning does seem to be getting a little closer. So, yeah. unfortunately, oh yeah, there was a bunch of lightning a second ago. So the pathway here to the beach is very narrow. Yeah, James got a lamp on his head and his uh, he's got a headlamp. Very narrow path. Huh? It is very narrow. Yeah. And back to the car. We ended up having to pack up so quickly that I didn't have a chance to record an ending video, but it was so awesome to catch that little pompano, to fish with James, my friend, and my, have my husband there with me, and also to have the moonrise coming up over the ocean. It was so beautiful. I know you couldn't see the moonrise like you needed to, but it was just an amazingly beautiful night. You did get to see that sunset. It was awesome. So if you like this content, please smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and once again, please consider helping us get the equipment, raising the funds for the GoPro. I'm gonna look, put the link up here one more time so you can get to that video really quickly where I break everything down. And as always, tight lines, and we'll see you, fishing girl.